Right, you know we can't stay at home too long, don't you? We've been to the dentist. Yep. I've cut the lawn. Yep. I've washed the van. Yep. Yeah, Don't that's rain. why it's rained. Yeah. Uh, I washed the car. Yeah. We've had Poppy groomed. Yeah. I think that's about it, isn't it, really? We don't. We haven't been had our hair cut no, yet. Have we? that, so that's we've, next week, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to go in the way for three nights. Three nights. We've got yeah. to get back for that. Yep. So where so are we going? What, we're off on our way to Burford Caravan and Motorhome Club site. It's a site that we've not been... God, that pigeon nearly got killed then. Uh, it's a site we've, we've never been, been to before. And uh, we'll have a, look, uh, have a little look around it. And we'll show you the way in and hopefully we'll show you the recommended Caravan and Motorhome Club way. Um, but it's a pretty boring journey to get there, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, it's a lot motorways, motorways all the way, M M M57, M6, M5. So we'll, we'll show you the way once we get off the motorways. Um, we haven't got the car with us, Poppy's with us. Yeah, Poppy's with us. Yeah. We haven't got the car, car with us. No, no car. No car. Uh, it's the first time I think we've been away for a while without the car, isn't it? In our, with our own van, yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, feels a bit weird driving the van with nothing nothing behind. We I, didn't keep, think I keep looking at what's wrong there. Uh, yeah, so... But we didn't think we need it, did we, for just No, just for, just for three nights? Two nights at Burford, for yeah. one night at Warwick, Warwick on the way back. On the way back, OK. Yeah, we won't, we won't film Warwick because we, we have been there quite recently. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, Peter's house. Yeah, so we're going to have a little break. And, uh, a fair old journey though, it's about four hours to get there. Yeah, it? it is, yeah. And the weather's not too clever at the moment. But um, you're probably wondering why on earth we're going to Burford, aren't you, really? <laughs> this is a nice place. It's a nice place, yeah. 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 And we haven't been. We, we haven't been there before. What you want to do really is you want to tune in tomorrow to find out what the real reason we're going to Burford is. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on that note, Oops. yeah, we'll I'll get on with the journey. Get on with the journey, and I'll catch up with you later. 11A.
right and to the left is the village of Burford. Okay. We don't want the uh, actual village, do we? No, no, we need to turn right. Prepare to enter the roundabout after half a mile. These uh, bikes are taking their lines in their hands, aren't they? They're a bit dangerous, aren't they? Yeah. That's what we're looking for, yeah. Enter the roundabout, take the fourth exit. The town is up to our left. Take the fourth exit, onto A361. So it's two miles along here. You see, you can't really walk into the town. No, well, we well, could, but that's a couple of miles, isn't it? Yeah, it's a couple of miles, and you've got no uh, footpath. Probably why we've never been here. Yeah, well, it is, isn't it? If you're, in, you're not near a town. Prepare to turn right after half a mile. After one thousand feet, turn right. Then turn right. Yeah, it's got signs again. Here, isn't it? <laughs> <It's> here. <laughs> She's done really well up until then. Yeah. <laughs> Turn here. Yeah. Take the next left onto Foxwood Lane. No. Then arrive at destination on the left. We've already arrived, <laughs> Mrs. Sacknag. <laughs> So we're looking for a standing with a warning, aren't we? Yeah. There are 114 pitches here, it tells me. Yeah. Earliest arrival was 12 o'clock. Yeah. Maximum outfit length, 9 metres. And the site is 10 acres right. in size. That's quite a big, a big site. How much did I pay? Uh, right, here we are. For staying for two nights, yeah. uh, it's £50.80. Okay, which way do I go here? Which way do you go here? I'm looking for a white peg. I think they're mainly service pitches over there. There's the toilet block there. The toilet block and the motorhome service point, which I think will take use of. We might as well fill up, won't we? Yeah, okay. So we can have a little look at the toilet block whilst we're here. The only trouble with this thing here, mind you, we don't need to empty. The trouble with that is that that grate is a bit way back isn't it? Mm. Yeah I think I'd have to use the uh, cover over there. So empty. Not sure if we get all the way back over that grate. How was it? Yep. Okay, couldn't find it anywhere with the satellite signal. Just too many trees, I think. I think we would have been alright over there somewhere, yeah, but uh, they're, so. they're all full up. Yeah. Never mind. I think I'll probably be uh, doing my video anyway, so. It's very nice here. There's a wildlife park across the road. Across the road, that's right. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a little dog walk over there. And have a little wander over there. I've got a tent area here. It's the only area for your tent, isn't it? You don't mind a great spot for it. <laughs> well, there's a bit of a storage yard here as well. Probably making some yeah. new friends. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's quite a long lead there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the uh, dog area, obviously on leads here because there's a road. And there is a another area for them, which we'll perhaps explore later. Just want to have a quick look, a quick look over the road. The wildlife park. Yeah, so directly opposite the Carrow Motor Home Club entrance for Burford is the Cotswolds Wildlife Garden. And you can get tickets in the reception for it. It's only open at certain times, I thought she said. Yeah, so it says 150 animal species, picnic areas, cafeteria, adventure playground, gift shops, narrow gauge railway, April to October, and open daily from 10 a.m. Last emissions 4 p.m. summer and 3 p.m. winter. Right. So that's up there. Yeah. Okay. We don't know where the popping go. No. Not information hut. Sorts of things to do. The Angel Burford. Pizza Refresco. That's the wildlife park. Rhinos on the lawn. Yeah, so dogs can go in the um, wildlife park there. And they're not allowed in the indoor bits, though, obviously the aquarium and the um, reptile house and that sort of thing, so they can go around it. Well, that's good. Yeah. I don't know if we've got time this afternoon, but. Right, there's a. What's it? Steak and Fritz <laughs> van. Yeah. Um, here tonight. Which we've got a menu for, haven't we? Which well, gave us a menu, even though I told her I was a vegetarian. Well, maybe they don't just do steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said they don't do vegetarian steak. No. That's a surprise. <laughs> Can't do something else though. Charles, look at it. Yeah. And there is a fish and chip van um, tomorrow night, tomorrow isn't it? Night, Which is yeah. Saturday night. No. No, Friday, Friday night. Friday night. So today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Fritz and steak, steak tonight, yeah. Thursday, and fish and chips Friday. I think I've got that right. Try not to tri not try not to trip over the motorhome waste point. Let's have a quick look in the lows. Oh, it's closed to it. <laughs> closed. It's closed. Closed till three o'clock for cleaning. Oh, okay. It's unusual, isn't it? Just the only. Yeah, normally it's like lunch time, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a sign for a chippy. Yeah, village chippy here every Friday. That's good. Usual sort of laundry facilities. Four pound per wash. Normal. And chemical waste is down here. That's in there. You don't really want to look in there, Pops, do you? No. There's a baby and toddler washroom just, just there. No dogs allowed. 
Yeah. Got another sight. Well, the other dog walk area, which is that they're allowed to go off lead in there, is just behind us, I think. Yeah, so it's in here. Go on, pups. Do anything. <laughs> yeah, right, hello. Hello, you're just a little scaredy cat, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, she's a bit... <laughs> she moves quickly, you know. A bit younger than you, Poppy. <laughs> Do I still sniff? Well, it's always nice when they're, you can find an area where they can go off lead. Yeah, Poppy don't eat that. Hey, 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 leave, leave. Found a bit of bread. <laughs> That's for the birds. What it's doing in the dog area, I don't know. Even though you put the bed out, she still wants to sit on the grass. At least don't want to sit in my chair. No. Not at the moment. Well, I think that's it for now, isn't it? I think so. I haven't missed anything, have I? It's a mobile signal, though. Um. Well, I'm looking at my phone, which is EE. It's got a 4G, which is it's reasonably okay, but only says it's one bar, right. a tiny little bar. 4G, one bar. Yeah, well, it's yeah. gone up to two now. I okay. mean, I've just managed to post something. Yeah, okay. And it could locate where I was, so I mean, it's not an awful signal. Notice that the Wi Fi, the um, Caravan Motor Club Wi Fi, which we're right by the yeah. one of the things for, is a gold rated one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're right by the uh, thingy. We're just there, aren't we? Yeah. That's quite interesting, really, because I've just uh, invested in a unlimited data SIM for <laughs> for a mobile router. Yeah. And it's a Vodafone SIM, and it's thirty pounds for unlimited data. So I'm going to see how we get on with that. Yeah, we've got the Vodafone Unlimited Max, which, as it says, is unlimited, and there's no cap on it. Uh, the only sort of drawback, as I can see it, is it's, 20, it's £30 a month and it's a contract for a year. So, um, obviously, if you don't like it, you can't get out of it. Because that's the only drawback I can see. Whereas the previous one we had, we could, it was a rolling over to the next month, wasn't it? So we yeah, just, so you could cancel it with a 30 days notice, notice yeah. 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 So, anyway. Uh, I'll, there'll be more about that because I've, I've actually got a little router. I don't know if you've seen my Twitter feed, I've actually got a, a um, Netgear router to test. Um, one of the things I wanted to do today was actually hook it up to the satellite because I've got no satellite signal. <laughs> I can't do that today. So um, I'll let you know how I get on with that. So that's definitely it. Yeah, but you don't say whether you've got a Vodafone signal, you don't know that. Oh no, that's true, better go and check. RAF? Is that Cosford or somewhere like that, presumably? Well, we're not far from Oxford, are we? So is it... It's RAF, isn't it? So, yeah. So, what's it say there? Then? What's it say? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, give me some. Give me some information about the area. Well, we're we're there. We're, okay. Yeah. So we're we're, between where the Cheltenham is. and Oxford, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And Gloucester. So it, it recommends obviously Burford, Burford the town itself, there, yeah. um, Oxford, Oxford and Gloucester. Gloucester. We've been to Gloucester. We've been we? to Gloucester. Yeah. Yeah. And then other things in the area. I mean, we. That's recognize that Arboretum, don't we because yeah. that's near Morton in Marsh yeah you can do some archery if you yeah, want that's handy. Go on some treasure trails yeah. and visit the Cotswold falconry. falconry yeah 
Uh, so there's walks. walks, three walks of various lengths, yeah. routes and maps available from yeah. reception, there are cycle routes. Yeah. Um, okay. Then it, if you need the supermarket, there's a Morrison's, Morrison's and nearby. seem to be about three or four miles away. Yeah. The nearest cash point is 3.7 miles away. Right, so it's a fair way out of the town, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. What's the thing about buses? You said something about buses. It says they're not on a bus route at all. Oh, so it's taxis only. It's taxis, it? yeah, or yeah. you know, obviously your own transport. Yeah. And there's a bit about parking motorhomes in Burford. Yeah. So access High Street on foot, turn right out of the car park. Yeah, so there's a gravel car park you can park your motorhome. I mean, that's quite handy to know. I think um, Mads did something on that. Well, Herm- Herman the Heimer. Yeah. Formerly Herm- known uh, as Herman the Heimer. Yeah, known as Herman Hits the Road. Yeah. Um, he did something on Burford, and I'm sure they parked in that car park. Okay, okay. Uh, so then we've got the... Steak Fritz. Steak Fritz. Yeah, and that's tonight. Yeah, so we would sort of struggle a bit with that, I wouldn't we? we struggle a lot with that. The Fritz would be all right. Yeah. You can choose a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll have the fish and chips tomorrow, okay. shall we? Yeah, we could have yeah. the sides. Yeah. The mushrooms. Yeah. If you like steak, you be all right, right with that. Yeah. Right. So we're going to just chill and have a beer. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how my mobile signal is in a minute. Your signal? I've just checked my signal and uh, it's a one or two bar 4G signal. So it's about the same as EE. Right. So you are a bit in the middle of nowhere here, aren't you, really? Yeah. It feels a bit like it. Yeah. But it's nice and quiet. And it's very quiet, isn't it? It's like you've got your own little garden. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's it for today. Um, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And um, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications icon and you won't miss tomorrow's video. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see get you up to. See you then. Yeah, bye then. Plane's coming again. Another one, or is it the same one?